Western Tourism Association Chairperson Red Nisikumba says the association is looking forward to hearing the President Edgar Lungu's pronouncement, which will spur the tourism business during his address to Parliament on Friday. Mr. Sikumba has told ZNBC News in an interview that the tourism sector has been hit by the negative effects of COVID-19. He said top on the list is the cutting down of tax requirements for operators such as value-added tax, bed levy and service charges. Here's a report. On a normal sunny day like this one, this swimming pool area at one of the hotels in Livingston is usually filled with tourists. But because of COVID-19, the pool site is empty. Livingston Tourism Association Chairperson Rudni Sikumba hopes President Edgar Lungu during his address to Parliament on Friday will make pronouncements that will awaken the tourism business in the tourist capital. We in the tourism sector, a sector that has been hard hit, are really looking at or looking out for that one pronouncement that will be made by the president, obviously with the consultation of the, of the Minister of Tourism on how we are going to sustain the tourism business. And we, we, the one consistent plea we have sent to government is allow us to remove the VAT on package tours in Zambia. The cost of domestic flights is another area where two operators are hoping the government will look into. The cost of travel within the country is expensive and the airlines are telling us to say the price of the jet a1 fuel is expensive we need to re-look re into that aspect see how best we could connect most of these places within our country so that each and every citizen for starters as well as the foreign uh, uh, tourists are able to access them with minimum cost following the relocation of the provincial administration from livingston to choma district in 2012 Livingston's economy tilted heavily towards tourism. A limping tourism industry therefore means that a number of businesses linked to this sector are collapsing. And among those directly affected are landlords, who are now forced to watch over their houses that have become vacant following the loss of income, in some cases loss of jobs, by tenants who used to work in tourism firms. Justin Akaklubelwa, ZNBC News, Livingston. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.